thank you very much. Uh, I am incredibly happy to be here. Uh, first, congratulations, Robert Steele and Robert Smith. I've been following your careers for well over a decade, and uh, it's just a privilege to be here with you this evening. Uh, and thank you, Dean Hubbard, for your leadership of Columbia Business School and for inviting me. Uh, yep. And for inviting me every semester for now going five years to speak to your, your school. It's great inspiration. Um, I also have to thank my family who's here tonight, my wonderful mother who taught me at a very young age to dream big, and my lovely uh, wife who inspires me in everything that I do. <laughs> and, uh, and who uh, supports me in all of my efforts and all the time, uh, except at, at night when she takes the covers, but we debate on who really does that. <laughs> uh, I, I also ha have to thank the people of Compass, the entire Compass family of 1,500 agents, uh, uh, 400 staff and 30 offices, uh, and lastly, to thank Columbia University and the wonderful city uh, that you know, makes it so special. You know, I'm, I'm from Berkeley, California, and growing up with big dreams, I always wanted to go to the big city, right? And so ultimately, I ended up at Columbia University, and my first day in New York, I went to Times Square at around 9, 10 p.m., and I stayed there until 5 in the morning. And I felt like just because I was on this island with the greats like Henry Kravis, I had made it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sure many of you can remember that feeling, you know, when you first get to the city for the first time in your life. And it was very special. You know, my favorite book is a short one by E.B. White called Here is New York. And there's uh, a passage I just want to share with you about the three cities of New York. First, there's New York of the man or woman who was born here, who takes the city for granted and accepts the size and turbulence as natural and inevitable. Secondly, there is the New York of the commuter, the city that is devoured by locusts each day and spat out each night. Third, there's the New York of the person who was born somewhere else and came to New York in quest of something. Of these three trembling cities, the greatest is the last, the city of the final destination, the city that is a goal. Commuters give the city its title, restlessness. Natives give solidity and continuity. But the settlers give it its passion. Columbia Business School feeds off the energy of New York and gives so much back. It gave people like me and many of you uh, the preparation needed to survive in the toughest city in New York. I came to New York because of Columbia University, but it's Columbia Business School that prepared me to be successful here and to make it my home. As I think about uh, my path, uh, there are really three themes that are interwoven into my life. You know, first is the ability to dream. Secondly is letting passion guide my way. And lastly, being optimistic about the future always. Uh, it, I never knew why I dreamed all the time. I'm always thinking about the future. Very hard for me to, to live in the present. And I was talking to my mom a year ago over dinner, and she said, uh, giving me advice on how to raise my two daughters, she said, do you, you know, when you wish them, you know, good night, do you tell them dream big dreams? Because I did that to you, you know, every night, you know, and when you were young. I told you, dream about all the wonderful things you can be and all the impact you can have on the world. You can do anything. And, yeah, and it's, it's amazing, because I can tell you, there's not a time that I can recall where I have gone to sleep without dreaming about the wonderful future that will be. And I think it's just a signal of the impact that we can all have on, on children. Uh, and I'm very thankful for that. And I'm motivated you know, by positivity, inspiration, and dreams. And what I love about Compass is I believe that at scale, remember I said this, at scale, we can, Compass can make more dreams a reality than any other company in the world. Uh, and what I mean by that is when you get those keys to your first home or to your first office space or to your retirement home, your vacation home, or where you had your first kid or second kid, you, you got to move up, that is a dream being realized. And I think we can make that an amazing inspirational force for the entire world. Also, our agents are entrepreneurs. 
entrepreneurs are by definition dreamers. And they have dreams for their careers, uh, for being CEOs of their own businesses, uh, and, and you know, really you know, using their creativity and talents to realize you know, a great life and take care of their family. And then lastly, of course, our staff, right? People that come to Compass came because they have a dream to transform one of the largest segments of the global economy. And so I'm very thankful that this underlying motivation I get to have realized every day for myself. Secondly, passion. Um, I want to thank a good friend of mine here today from Columbia Business School, Cyrus Masumi, who's the founder of, of ZocDoc. Uh, he was president of Cluster X, uh, where, who here is in Cluster X? <laughs> uh, J term. And you know, he asked me when I was at Goldman, he said, do you think about your job in the shower? And I was like, no, no, I, I don't. I think about um, the nonprofit that I started or running the marathons to raise a million dollars for nonprofits. Like, that's what I think about. And I, you know, I, I loved where I was working, but I, w I didn't love it enough to obsess about it, to think about it in the shower. And he said, then you have to, you have to leave because you can never be your best self if you don't think about your job in the shower. And I was like, you're crazy, Cyrus. <laughs> but but he, it started to really bug me because I realized that he was actually right. And I then you know, met with my now co-founder, Guy Ori alone, who had sold one company to Google, another company to Twitter. I said, come join me and let's bring this beautiful thing called technology to a space that has a hard time attracting it. And now I get to, I get to be passionate about what I do every day. And so I want to thank you for that, Cyrus. <laughs> And lastly, optimism. Uh, entrepreneurs have to be optimistic because you get 10 no's for every yes, right? And so you, you just would give up if you didn't believe kind of irrationally so that the future will be better than the present or the past. And I'm very fortunate to have had a role model throughout my life that's the best entrepreneur I know, my, my mother, Ruth Refkin. She, uh, is an immigrant from Israel, moved here uh, when she was young, and then ultimately left to go to Berkeley, California to pave her own way, uh, was disowned by her parents because she ended up having me with a, an African-American, uh, and then he passed away when I was young, so she had to figure it all out by herself in a place where she knew nobody. And so in watching her you know, say, oh, I'm going to work at the JCC, Jewish Community Center, so that I can make money and take care of you at the same time, uh, and then go off to work in uh, insurance brokerage and real estate brokerage and help me apply to seven nonprofits so that I can get more support that my familial support was lacking, and help me apply to 2,000 scholarships. We only got 15, but we, but we, we got 15. <laughs> and, uh, and, and then, you know, helping me you know, go to, to New York City, and, and the, the rest is, is kind of history. But I, I'm really appreciative that I had that as a role model, and very thankful for Columbia University for contributing uh, to the path of experiences that I had in my life that made me feel like anything's possible. And so I wouldn't be here without all that. And so thank you to Columbia. <laughs> so to close, uh, I want to accept this award on behalf of all the people of Compass who dream big and inspire me to dream even bigger. Uh, on behalf of Columbia University, which instills in its students the values of entrepreneurship and creates a community where it helps us build our businesses and to transform the world in the ways that we see fit. And lastly, to the residents of New York City who came here and arrived with passion and bring all the energy that makes life fulfilling. So thank you. <laughs>